I get so caught up in the middle, thinking of drowning in those blue eyes. I'm losing sight. Good morning, everyone. And so, bagong gising. It's eight o'clock in the morning, and the sun is still um pakulimlim. I don't know. Usually, pag morning ganito oras, mariwana ganito pero ngayon it's kind of cold and windy. Um, so today's topic is what will you do if you get rot? <laughs> so good morning and this is my breakfast. <laughs> this is my blue elf. This was super okay a couple of days ago and then yesterday I started watching uh, K-drama. So hindi ako nakakat kahapon. And then lo and behold, bigla nila siya na ganito. I don't know. Pero, hindi naman siya, oh, kapit naman yung mga leaves niya. So, definitely, it's not, like, overwatered. Kasi kung overwatered, dapat pati yung katabi niya, meron na. So, I'm pretty sure this is caused by, um, fungus. So, kasi okay yung stem niya sa ilalim eh, oh. Look, meron din siyang new roots. May mga white roots din siya. So, let's see. Let's see, let's see. I'm gonna get my pruning shears. Let's check kung anong ganap niya. Ito, wala na itong ibabaw. So, cut na natin yan. So, what you do is you cut the entire stem. Oh. See? That's fungus. Kasi kung overwatered yan, the entire stem would be, um, would be black. Pero ito one side lang. So, nakapasok siya sa isang side. No wonder. Kalahati lang din yung may problema sa kanya. So, I'll just try to propagate this, the other part of the leaves. Pero ito, goner na yan. And then, I'll just try to cut as deep as I can to see kung may kung affected yung bottom part niya. Meron pa rin. Okay, let's see. Pudog pa tayo. Ah, wala na rin. Wala na rin. Ayan, so if you can see kung pag ganyan yung stem, wala na yan. Um, hindi na yan mag, ano, it will just dry up. You can't propagate from it anymore. So, okay, yan. So, so, today is another learning lesson for me as a gardener na kahit minsan mag-spray ka na na fungicide, malamang yung leak kasi nga kung napansin nyo, ito yung nakaharap kanina, di ba? So, I sprayed fungicide here, but the back part, wala, unprotected siya. Hindi siya siguro nakapitan or na-sprayan because I was spraying syempre front lang, front, front so, yung back part open, naging susceptible siya kaya siguro pinasok siya dun um, things like that really happens so, uh, it's normal it's part of uh, your gardening life and next time kapag mag spray ka, sprayan mo all around so, siguro best if I um, pick them up one by one and spray all throughout. Another tip to avoid fungal rot and for fungus to uh, go to your plant is is to always clean up yung mga old leaves um, important na tinatanggal natin from time to time. Lalo na ngayon, wala naman tayong ginagawa ngayon ECQ. <laughs> so, isa-isahin natin yung mga yan. Sayang lang kasi sobrang active ditong plant na to. Ayan. Sobrang active ditong plant na to. Look at the root system. It's very, um, and it's very aggressive. Uh, kaya, super sad lang. Sad day. But, again, it will, marami naman siyang pops, so uh, for the meantime, kalahati lang, kalahati lang muna siya <laughs> kakaloka to um, yun, so ingat-ingat uh, lang po, check your plants from time to time, and hopefully um, 
siya, like sa akin, ma, um, mahabol pa if ever you see one. Kaya, it's always talaga important to check on the plants from time to time. Kasi, hindi natin alam kung, yun nga, kung tatadadapuan siya ng sakit or hindi. So, yan. So, ngayon, clean na siya. And then, as precautionary measure, I will, um, I will spray, I, I will, ano, I will give her some folicor para pa, if ever man na, kasi hindi naman to, separate stem naman yan eh. So, para maiwasan na mahawa just in case na kung meron na siyang um, sa loob na uh, fungus mamatay. So, I need a system kasi with this one, obviously, it, it started from the stem. And then, ayun, ininom niya. And then, this side also. There. Okay, hold on. I'll get some folicor. There. So, I made a small batch of folicor um, solution. So, I'm gonna just water this one with 20 ml of water with folicor. So, para mainom niya yung uh, fungicide. And then, I'll put this first in a shaded area here on the side. Ito ang aking ICU station. <laughs> so, dito muna siya for the meantime para hindi siya maarawan. Kahit siguro dito sa baba. And then, hopefully, um, in a couple of days, hindi mahawa yung kabila. So, there. Uh, Again, you don't be sad because yeah, it's, well, it's kind of sad, but it's part of our gardening life to have stuff like that. And hindi natin maiiwasan yan. So, let's just look at other, uh, yung positive sides ba ng, uh, ng ating garden. So, uh, let's keep our uh, hopes up and stay positive and don't worry because babawi naman din yung iba. Ayan. Mahabol lang sila. Magiging okay na sila. Alrighty. See you soon. Bye. I get so caught up in the middle.